Pew, 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 lasers, HD, oh my god, he finally got component cables. It's true, I did. It's Adam, from Deep Bad News TV. You should already know that, but if you don't, the fuck? I'm just kidding. So here is a Monday video, where I do pretty good, I think. It's pretty short, five minutes. Five minutes meaning that I did so good that it's only a five minute match. So there you go. Bam. Um, <laughs> one thing I want to talk about in this video is um, uh, just some, like, I guess some selection uh, that some of you may not know about uh, in terms of your weapons, what works, what doesn't work, um, kill streaks, stuff like that. Um, as you can see right now, I'm running with the FAL or FAIL, whatever you want to call it, the FAL. Um, I actually really, really love the foul. We're gonna call it the foul. Um, on its own, uh, it's just a, it's a, like it's all a manual kind of deal, like uh, semi-automatic. And uh, so you're only gonna shoot as fast as you can press the trigger. However, uh, after leveling it up for a while, uh, you eventually unlock the fire switch. I don't know if that's the actual name. Essentially, it just changes the rate of fire on the gun. Now, what that can do is turn the foul into an automatic gun, which is astounding, because the foul has a really, really high rate of damage. Uh, it typically only takes about two, maybe three bullets to kill any single person with. Um, and on top of that, it has very, very good accuracy. So you're going to be able to knock people down rather quickly with it, and um, and you unlock that at about level 10, uh, your your weapon ranking. Uh, and and if you didn't know, that's how you uh, unlock all your attachments. It's just your weapon ranking. Um, and of course, I've I've prestiged my weapon, which you can do in this game. And essentially, all that does is unlock. Um, it unlocks your uh, clan tag on your weapon, and then if you prestige one more time, uh, you're able to get uh, uh, your emblem put right on to your gun. So that's great. Uh, and of course here I'm using the PDW, which is probably my favorite weapon in the game, and in my opinion the best uh, SMG. Um, it has a strong rate of fire, uh, it's strong damage. And it has a rather large magazine, which I found some of the other ones don't have. And uh, and it's with that that I kind of find the, uh, Friendly UAV the falter in some of the other submachine guns. Because with this, you can go through probably three people with one round, like with one clip. Um, whereas I found in the past, you can't do that. That being said, the other important part. Uh, in this video that I want to make clear, especially for players who are fairly new to Call of Duty. Um, and every year you're going to have new players, and even players who have been playing this for a long time. In the beginning of this match, it did not look like I was going to be doing much, like very well at all. Um, but it's it's all about your, your setup, your loadout, and all that stuff. And it's also about kind of keeping a positive attitude. Uh, I mean, everybody knows Ragers, and they typically do bad because they get frustrated. So, um, I've actually set up my kill streaks to work out so I can uh, get a lot of them all at once. And uh, you basically have to decide one specific thing when you start picking your kill streaks. Do you a want to run very high kill streaks that are going to get you a lot of lot of kills but are very difficult to get, or do you want to run lower kill streaks that can guarantee you kills and that you can get again really quickly? And so, because this is all based off of your score, I can get my hunter attack drone and my care package essentially at the same time. And then after that, I have um, whatever I have after that. I don't even remember. So, all that being said, it's amazing what you can do when you run with a care package. Because if I ran this game without it, I wouldn't have gotten the the, uh, the attack helicopter, and I wouldn't have gotten the dragonfly. And those two things essentially made this game a success for me. So that's something you want to keep in mind when you're picking what you want to choose to run with uh, gun-wise and killstreak-wise. Specifically killstreaks. And, you know, don't be afraid to try everything out. There's nothing, certainly nothing wrong with that. But 
just keep in mind that what you're trying to do is obviously you want to get a lot of kills. That's the point of the game. So keep that in mind when you're picking your kill streaks. You may want to pick things that you can get one, two, three right off the bat, or maybe one, two, and then keep that third one maybe as a higher kill streak um, that you can work towards because everything, all the damage that you do with all your kill streaks are ultimately going to help you out. So that's just something to keep in mind. That's I had a pretty good game. No survivors. Pretty good. Remember to subscribe and like and all that jazz, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.